What's up, William Barron here with darkeffects.net, and tonight we are inside of Internet Information Services IIS Manager. This is IIS 7.5 inside of Windows 7. And I was asked a question quite a while back, and I just now found the question. And what he was asking is that is it best to create a new website? with a port number so that you can type in like localhost colon 587 as your port number and he asked if this was the best way or if there was another way to do it instead of doing it like that and there is another way to do it inside of IIS and this can be done inside of IIS any version all the way from IIS 4 I believe back in Windows NT 4 server all the way up to now what you do is that you right click on your sites oops I'm sorry right click on your default website go down to manage uh, let's see I'm sorry go down to add virtual directory I gotta remember which one that I'm in inside of your virtual directory for your alias you want let's just say uh, you want to create a website called test and then we're going to browse into our G I know pub ww root and we're gonna create a folder called test. Okay, now inside of this folder right here, click OK. We're gonna go in to G INET pub ww root test. And let's just grab a hold of this and just copy it in there. Okay. Now inside of this folder here, what we would do is that we will bring open a browser window and then I think this is dot eight one nine two one six eight dot two well let's just do localhost localhost forward slash test and that's gonna bring open that web page which is our just little hello world ASP script page and so you can go in you can create another site another virtual directory and you can name this uh, myself and then you can go in and create another folder inside of your inet pub and you can call this one myself and then click ok and do the same thing like we did just a minute ago copy this go inside of myself and then localhost slash myself okay so this is the best way to create multiple websites using a single IP address now if you've got multiple IP address sitting on your NIC card then what you would do is that you would go down here I mean you can even do the same thing with a single IP address you just right click add application and then you would type it in but it's best for this one for your applications or your single websites to have an individual static IP for each one of them but for creating a website that's going to be sharing the static IP with all of them this is the way you want to do it it's called a virtual website and that's how I've got all mine set up you go inside of my server over here and uh, let's bring this down bring that down okay this right here is my 2003 server all of these are virtual directories the only one that's an actual real directory or a real site is the default website which is pointing to my mail server but all of these here are virtual directories these are all of my sites and projects that I work on for other people and so but that's basically um, how you want to do it if you want to have multiple websites running on your server and considering the fact that uh, running IIS on Windows 7 that is not a server which is Windows 7 Vista XP in 2000 uh, you would have to do it like this anyway in order to host multiple websites you can host hundreds of websites on your IIS as long as they are done like this right here so basically each website is its own okay you can run a cookie on this website but 
on the test website you would have to have a cookie of its own unless you do a cross domain cookie because basically each one of these even though they're virtual websites they are basically considered to be virtual domains so anyway this is Wayne Brown with darkfakes.net inside of IS7 y'all have a rocking week bye bye